opened up for the uh, for the Sunday hour, and I'm going to explain to you what I'm going to do as the final thing for the weekend. Hope you can hear me. I'm uh, just getting this set so I can see what I'm screaming. Okay. <clears throat> That last video I was that got put out was only supposed to go to paid members. So I apologize to the paid members, but it's all set now. So if you want to see it, you got to subscribe. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to gain strength for zero weight. And that's by sewing this wing. What I did was I took a yardstick and I marked where I'm going to put the thread. This thread is parachute riggers thread. It's Kevlar. Don't try to pull it because you'll cut your hands. So we're going to need twice the span plus some in length. I've already wrapped the parachute riggers cord around the push rods and and got them all glued together so this offers great strength at zero weight gain. I mean this thread weighs nothing. So we're going to need a little bit here. Hopefully I I get it all in one in one go. And this is a this is a rigger's needle. Get this off the table. So basically, we're going to attach the wing from tip to tip. So I'm gonna, I might have to get a second pair of glasses to hit the hole. I right, got it. Okay, now we're going to put a knot on here, a start knot. You can do this to any, any wing, and it adds a great amount of strength. So what you need to do is, if you want to use parachute riggers thread, is either Find a military guy or search eBay or whatever for riggers Kevlar thread. So let's uh, let's put it this way so you can see what I'm gonna do here. We're gonna start at the top of the wing on the out inboard side at the mark. About an eighth of an inch down from the top. Pull it through. This takes a while to do, so until we get to hit the knot. Okay, I hit the knot, and I'm going to put some CA on it. So that it doesn't pull out. Then we're going to go to the bottom of the wing. You could probably do this in your hand, but I'm, I've got to do this for the camera. Oops, about knocked that airplane off the wall there. Bottom. 
top. Bottom. Top. Bottom. Top. Bottom. <laughs> it's kind of a pain and it's you know not a, not really something that most people do but ever since uh, about 1990 I've been doing this so about 30 years I'm gonna lose my thread there. What's happening here? So now we go down the bottom. And then the top. Let's see, I don't know that you can see what I'm doing or not. But I'll, I'll get a picture to you so you can see it. Oh, about lost the thread there. What this does is it gives you an extra spar in the airplane for no weight. I suppose you could do it with household thread. It just wouldn't wouldn't be as strong. I don't know that I, I've shown this in the past. I'm sure that I have. But teaching is reminding, learning is remembering. If I haven't shown it in the past, I should have. So let's uh, get it pulled out as a top, and then it goes to the bottom. Top, then the bottom. Now we got to get it all the way pulled out here. I'm not sure you can see what I'm doing. I'll try to get a, uh, a good picture of it when I get it all done here. So we got to run it out all the way. I think they got it all. Let me look. So this thread is going, it goes in a straight line across here. Yeah, it's so it's so fine you can't hardly see it. Goes bottom, top, top, bottom all the way across. We're going to turn around on the other side of the wing and come back and X them. And we're going to glue this thread at every joint to make it solid. <laughs> I 
the stupid stuff I do. <laughs> okay, you can put a little glue on this. Okay, turn around and come back to the top. You want to try to make the thread touch each other at the cross. Because we're going to glue those where they touch each other in the center as well. It also stiffens the ribs up to keep them from bowing. I will try I will try to get a good camera view of the thread sewing as soon as I get this done. This is a free flight trick. Am I going to have enough to get to the end? Possibly. And free flight guys know their stuff. Halfway. I put in a lot of work on this thing today. I'll show you the fuselage. The cow. So I want to go this side of this. And up here, this side. Kind of like rigging on an old biplane. Let's, uh, we got this pulled tight. Let's put a drop of CA here. I think this is going to be the first airplane I've ever gone through that I didn't I didn't screw up the the order <laughs> up down up down up down Okay. 
I have just enough. Got to go around the other side though. Hey, Jamie Curtis. Uh, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to get the uh, the thread. You really can't see it on the screen, but I'll try to do a close up and get it in there. the bottom here. We'll finish it off by going back on itself. Let's see. Pull it tight. Get a drop of CA on it. Back on itself. So what I did was I added a spar for no weight. And trust me, this thread is Ten times as strong as the balsa wood. <laughs> okay, gotta cut that thread off, and then we'll go back and dob the CA on everything. <clears throat> okay, got it cut off. All right, I'm going to try to get you a, a, a picture of it. Let's see if we can get a close up. Can you see the thread? Right there it is, right there. The thread X's each other right here. We'll put a drop there, drop a CA here, get them together. A drop a CA on each spot on the ribs that locks up the the whole wing it, it becomes a spar basically it's pulling against each other so we'll do the centers first So it goes all the way down and all the way back. The rigging. Of course, we're going to cover this with Japanese tissue, and its tensile strength is more than. Uh, It's more than silk span. Come on. Get the one to stick.
There we go. Got to force that one. So now Oh, you guys are looking at the, not even looking at the project. <laughs> there we go. Okay, going back in and gluing these threads in the pass-through. I want this airplane to come out as nice as my Thunderbolt, so I'm doing everything I did on my Thunderbolt on this one. All right. For extra tips and tricks, become a paid member. It's down there by the subscribe button. Hit the join button. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna offer some live streams, some chats, and uh, of course, inside tips and tricks. This was. This was another one that. Uh, that I got a whole bunch of them that I'm going to share with the paid members. So please help my channel grow. Help me uh, get it out there. Like, subscribe, share the videos, become a paid member, etc. Like to see at least 10 new paid subscribers every month. It's only for a cup of coffee, you get all this. Wealth of knowledge. <laughs> okay, let's look at the fuselage. Gotta put this out of the way. This week I'll be tinkering uh, on this, and come next weekend we'll be starting to finish. So, I got the, uh, this weekend I've got the fuselage shaped here. I still haven't cut, hollowed this block, but I will. I've got the cowl completely done and sanded in. Except for right here, I have to, uh, mate this bottom sheeting on there first before I blend that in. It's still a little flat right here, but we'll get with that tomorrow. It's all been lined. 
I'll show that. Let's see. Thanks, Mike. Mother Tucker, <laughs> Mega Tucker, whatever. I showed how to how I attach cows this weekend. Of course, all this <clears throat> all this needs to be ground out, ground away. All of this will be hogged out. Same with the uh, tank compartment. All this uh, plywood needs to come out of here. And this all needs to be ground and smoothed. So this will get ground. That'll be cut out of there like that. I guess we could do that tonight. Well, what are we going to do here? How am I going to do this? Can't find my parts. Yeah, shit. Hmm. I wish you guys, you know, knowing how I build. And to try to build in a little area like this is just really difficult. But I'm getting her done somehow. So let's let's cut that away and see what it looks like. I need to weigh this cow. This cow is going to come out. I'd say this cow is over two ounces right now. But it'll come out one half ounce. This cow weighs no only ounce one point eight five. So we gotta get this down to a half ounce. Or less. It'd be nice to get it down to a quarter ounce, but I wouldn't hold my breath on that deal. Let's uh, let's open this up. Need a new blade. I ate that blade up. Put up three videos today for several hours. Of excitement, <laughs> if that's what you call it. What the hell happened to the blades now? There they are. <sighs> this weekend, I probably got 20 hours in the airplane. It was supposed to be. Just an hour a day, but I'm getting too close to national time. I just I need to find out whether they're going to give the money back if they don't have the nationals. I think I'll probably call them tomorrow. Good luck on getting through on that. Come on now. Yeah. 
Some reason that's tough, must be glue there. Gotta be glue. And I just won't worry about it. I'll go to the other side and try to break it loose. Okay. Well, that's all cut away now. Clean it up a little bit, but not a whole lot. to be cut back a little bit. Well, we won't worry about that tonight. So I'll take the Dremel tool, not tonight, but we'll cut that in, remove all that lumber. So that's that. Let's see how it looks. Now put the cowl back on and see how it fits. See if I disturbed it. I kind of want to get away from putting any super fill on this. So that's why I did it different than I normally do. I tried John's method. You have to break these edges. If you don't, the paint will chip off. Of 
course, it's glad this cow gets glass, but So let's see how it fits. See if we got any gaps. Better not. Can't believe me. Can't believe that that half inch dowel cost me a dollar. I I used a piece, maybe three eighths of an inch long. It cost me a dollar. Because the guy couldn't make change. <laughs> there we go. Yep, that'll be perfect. Oh, got a little hole there. Still gonna have to super fill it a little bit. It's pretty close though. It's pretty it's pretty close. I like this way better than my way. One eighty grit sandpaper. If you look right here, it's about a sixty fourth little spot, about an inch long. It'll have to be super filled to make it perfect, but that's all right. Same with right here. That one's good. That one's that's not bad. Of course, I don't know when I put the glass on it, it that might, might take up that area. Okay, let's... Uh, Grind on it with some aggressive paper. There we go. I need to get that flat spot out of the uh, bottom of this. Line. 
Okay. There we go. Now I can grind. to get the outside first and then hollow the inside otherwise it'll be standing right through the air My 36 grid, it would go a lot faster than this. getting a flat spot. <coughs> Okie dokie. So now we go, still got a little flat spot right here. We'll go to the other side and grind away some. Cow will probably take to be right, probably take about 10 hours to do. I don't know how long I've got invested in this fuselage, probably 30 hours. So it'll be a week's work on this fuselage to get it right. Should have started this airplane a couple of months or sooner. Well, the trick was I thought I was going to fly that other high, that other uh, Junar, the other piped airplane. But after thinking about it, it's more the same. Okay, I need to need to pull this down right here. Still got a flat spot. the other side. Okay. Just think, I gotta cut this all apart and do it all again after it's together. But it's just the doctoring up finish sand. <coughs> this is the uh, 
the rough shaping. Looking pretty good. Let's see how it looks on camera. Yeah. Hey, we got a new member. Great. I don't know who that was that uh, became a member, but thank you. Nine more left this month. So, I think I'm going to do some some different icons than what I have up there now. I have the uh, 2020. When you when you join and become a member, you get the 2020 Stunhanger badge. But I think I want to do something just for YouTube. I'm still still learning this membership stuff. I'm not quite sure how it how it works. That's why I screwed up the one membership video today. But you have to be a member now to see it. So 60 people saw it, but I don't have 60 members, so I didn't set it right when I when I put it out there. Well, uh, on the member side, we'll go. We'll finish up with the uh, control system this week, bending of the flap horns, and uh, getting that all put together. Because, <clears throat> like I say, I wanna, I wanna start finishing this thing. So that looks pretty good. That's uh. Clean it up with some 180 and see what it looks like. To the new member, if you uh, post in chat, it'll come up with a green badge. So why don't you do that so we know who you are? Just say hello in in uh, in the live chat here. And your name will be uh, in a green badge along with a green highlight. And you'll have the 2020 Stunhanger uh, badge next to your name. Plus, you got some extra icons that you can use, some uh, emojis. I need to make those a little cooler, too, a little more airplane-y. I just don't have enough time in a day. <laughs> It's hard for me to to build, be the cameraman, the producer, the webmaster. This looks real good. It looks real good.
at least you get to see my layout of the cow, how how and why I cut the wood the way I did and glued it together. If you look right around here, it's a it's a perfect joint. Perfect. It won't get any tighter than that. Go to work tomorrow with balsa all over me. But it looks like I'm going to have to shut this off because it is bedtime for me. But we got a little bit done tonight. Thank you to the new subscriber, the new uh, channel members. I hope you learned something off some of the tips that I give out. I know I'm not funny, <laughs> so hopefully I'm educational. come out real good. I'm real happy with it. <coughs> I've shaped it three times now. Probably get a fourth time. Anyway, like, subscribe, share, become a member. I hope you learned something. That's how to do a perfect cow fitment. This is the uh, second video of the day on the cow. Like I said, I got about 10 hours in this fuselage. I think it's going to be a super nice airplane. If I can just finish it good. If I can finish it good.
leave a comment uh, in the comments section. Tell me what you think. If you think it was worth the effort. I don't know what this weighs, but it should be. This is probably around 10 ounces now. It should get down to 7. Get all this wood cut away. Oh boy, it's going to take a lot of cutting on this dog. Eleven and a half ounces, so I got a <coughs> I got a lot of cutting to do. Hopefully, we can whittle out. I don't know what this weighs. I don't know. Got to get it down to seven ounces somehow. I'm going to lose a lot of the plywood, lose a lot of this solid block. This will get down to half ounce and then carve this out. That will get down to an ounce. I don't know what it weighs now, but it, it feels pretty beefy in the nose. But I'm happy with it. It should be a super nice airplane. Thanks for spending your Sunday with me. Like. Subscribe, share the video. Thanks for becoming a member. If you're not a member, please join. Helps the channel. And uh, helps me out. And I appreciate it. Let's see here. We got an image and text. Well, we'll see you tomorrow night. Fair winds, tight lines. See you.